All right, so welcome back to the seven uh, the seven step formula to copywriting uh, these copywriting secrets. This is part three and the final part of this series that I did over the weekend. Um, before I get started, make sure you join Funnel Hacker Pro. That's my private Facebook group here, and I give up tons of information. Lots of people in here asking questions. I answer you personally. If you have questions, I'm always around to answer those questions there's not a whole bunch of like guesswork going on people that don't know what they're doing answering questions i answer them myself so at least i know they're right right so anyways join the group funnel hacker pro let's go if this is your first time to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification button so you'll know exactly when i'm uploading right now i'm on a one a day schedule for quite a while now talking about copywriting so go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video you can always take it back at the end if you don't like what you saw all right man so right now let's just do a quick recap on what we talked about uh, we know that we needed to pick a niche we need to find who our ideal customer was and then we need to do research about what that customer really wants what are their underlying desires what is it that they really want from a product that you uh, have to offer the next thing is we needed to do more research because now that we you know we we know we're going to sell we need to find out everything we possibly can to get proof proof is really important nobody ever talks about this they talk about the sexy shit like headlines and risk reversals and maybe bullet points but they never talk about the proof. Proof is very important. Testimonials are only one part of the proof. Remember we talked about going into uh, journals and uh, college case studies, so on and so forth. All those are forms of proof. Using celebrities that actually are like a president or something like that, that politicians that actually use the product, back your product. Finding doctors. There's a doctor somewhere that will agree with you that your diet or your um, health pills or whatever you have um, is valid, right? And we can use their images, especially if it's public. We can use their images, use newspaper clippings, so on and so forth. Proof is really important. And then also understanding Everything about your product is really important so you can explain to people why it's good for them and that proof is important. Now, the next thing we talked about, these are the rest of the tips for these uh, steps for this formula and it's a proven headline. Uh, download below, there. Uh, there's a file with a bunch of headlines there. Just download that and so you can look at what proven winning headlines look like. So here I put how a simple red pen turned around the fortunes of an inventor and his wife to the tune of $687,000 and how you can get your hands on this exclusive replica. Only six left. Now, this is really cool because I'm showing you how I just took a simple headline and made it sound you know, tabloidish, right? That's that tabloid headline that we're talking about. Then I told you that you need to have a lead. And here's the lead that I wrote up for this pen. By the way, writing up stuff like this, this was just an exercise on starting to write copy. You should also write one on yourself. Uh, Gary Halbert did that with the secrets of uh, marketing nerd or whatever it was called. I can't remember what it was. Um, and you write just write up a page on yourself, right? And that's really hard to do because you got to write up the page without talking about yourself. So it's really kind of cool. Anyways, this is one just about a pen, right? So dear friend, let me, let me go to a different lead here. So new book reveals how to build an email list even if you don't have a website. Remember, a simple headline, this works. This page itself converted at 34%, which is right at industry standard. And the actual product itself converted at 13%, which is again, right on, 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 on bar for, um, on par for industry standard conversion rates. Okay. So I wanted to show you how this works. So now remember I told you about the, the lead. Okay. So you have to have a use proven headlines and you need a lead. Now there's like six different types of leads. Okay. And the one I use the most is the Gary Halbert lead. If you like this, then blah, right? So if you like to build an email list, fill, if you'd like to build an email list filled with engaged and hyper subscribers, then, so if, then, 
this is the most important book that you'll ever read, right? So that's my lead right there. Now, remember I told you that I'm going to go right into the skepticism. But before I tell you about this, let me make something perfectly clear. This is not a uh, get-rich-quick website, blah, blah, blah. Remember I told you that, that what I would do. Now, um, the next thing that you're going to need when we're talking about the tips and the seven-step formula is you need an irresistible offer. You need to be able to offer them something that this like, damn, man, I just cannot let this go. The pricing has to be right, your bonuses, and everything has to kind of work in line. It has to be an irresistible offer. An offer is not a discount. That's just a discount. It's what it is. An offer is something totally different. It has to be something that they go, it's got to be brain dead. Like, if I don't get this right now, I'm just going to miss out. Okay? So, an irresistible offer. So, here I start going into bonuses. It's more than just building an email list. Right. And so now I'm talking about you can see the same system in this book to build your social media channels that you uh, you can um, all kinds of high end products, sell high, all kind of high end products. Right. And then uh, I talk about I've used this uh, exact same system to get professional services clients from our marketing agency. So these are bonuses. Right. So now you can sell stuff. You can sell professional services with this book. Now I'm telling you about and it's more than just building an email list again, right? And so now, here's the next thing that you have to learn. This is going to be a bonus here. But curiosity fascinations. Most people list bullet points as benefits nowadays. But that's not what bullet points are. They're actually fascinations and they're curiosity based. The number one sales tool that you're going to ever use when writing a sales letter is curiosity. They asked Gary Halbert that. Several people have agreed with that, and I and I love curiosity. It sells the best. So now here you go. Three deadly mistakes your competitors are making at driving their customers uh, to you in droves, and that's on page five. Now, what am I am I committing these mistakes? Are are you know what 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 is that? And it's on page five. I really want to see that, right? So these are what's actually in the book, but you're not giving away what's in the book. You're just telling them what, what it's going to cure, right? The number one proven method to stay out of the spam box and increase deliver, deliverability. Everybody wants to know that, right? Like, how is that going to, you know, how are they going to do that? Three battle-tested ways to increase open rates by 20%. Like, how? what is that? I want to know what that is if you don't already know, right? How to eliminate freebie seekers and attract your ideal prospects. I talk about all of this in my book, right? But those are what you call curiosity-based bullet points. And I used to wonder, why would people list a 1,000 bullets? Because it could be one bullet point, one, that will get your prospect to get to, to um, knock them off the fence, right, and get them to purchase. So you list as many as you can. I try to list between 17 and 20 bullet points curiosity based and of course there's a formula to this and I'll, uh, I'll give you guys that free download uh, if you ask for it just comment below the next thing I'm going to talk about that you have to have and this is the last thing is risk reversal so once you have given them this uh, irresistible offer you've piqued their curiosity you've given them bonuses that are congruent with your offer so what I like to do with bonuses is if I say that you're going to learn how to build an email list, then I want to talk about, well, how can I get traffic? So maybe I'll add that as a bonus or you need to learn how copywriting. So I'll add that as a bonus and everything that surrounds what you're going to give away would make sense. So if somebody says, well, I want to learn how to surf. Well, maybe if you're selling them a surfboard, you want to sell them the wax, give them a, the wax for as a bonus. Get free wax for a year when you buy the surfboard that, that's called sex wax, right? So maybe you give that away or get a leash for your board so you won't lose it. Get a free wetsuit or whatever. These are things that you would sell, give away as a bonus surrounding the purchase of the surfboard. You want to make it a no-brainer. Now, the risk reversal is really important, and that's totally at the end. So here it is. I 100% guarantee you'll love this book and the new video training, or I'll return your $5.60 and let you keep the book and the video training anyways. That is a no-brainer. That is a total no-brainer. That's like, okay, so I spent $5. If I don't like it, he's, and I can still get to keep it. That's a no-brainer risk, uh, risk reversal refund. You need to have that. 60-day money-back guarantee, 30-day money-back guarantee, and you always do that. The next thing you need to do, which I had on this, is scarcity. And you see here, 
And this is the last uh, of the seven tips. It might have been eight. I did a bonus here. This is truly a limited offer, so claim your copy now before they're all gone. In other words, I'm going to take this offer down, okay? And a lot of times I'll put a timer on the page and I'll make sure that you understand that this is not going to be up forever. The scarcity going on there. You need to have urgency. I want you to order now. This is, it's called direct response marketing. We want you to move now. So if you're looking at uh, this right here, you can kind of see the way I, I brought this in. Here is your headline. New book reveals how to do get something without the pain of doing this. Like I don't want a website. I, I just want to be able to build an email list, but I don't want to have to do all this technical stuff. I have that there as a proven headline, a proven lead. So if you want this, then this is what you'll want. And then I go right into the customers, the prospects head, and I say to them, this is what this is not. This is already what you're thinking. So I'm going to address that right now. Here's what you, these are all your objections. This is what you're thinking. You're, you're, um, uh, what a pessimist right now. So, and you're, you're not, you know, you really don't believe this. So this, I want to address this right now. The next thing I'm going to do is come down and I'm going to give them an irresistible offer. I'm going to add on bonuses and we're going to talk about what they're actually going to get. Here's exactly what you're getting today. And the next thing you're going to do is come down here and you're going to have your curiosity bullet points and you're going to try to hit every type of like person that maybe maybe this will get them over the edge maybe they want to know about this maybe they want to know about that so if this is a surfboard you know three ways to to make your surfboard last forever and protect your investment um how not to get eaten by sharks a guaranteed proven method on how not to get eaten by sharks because you want to address those things like well how do you guarantee not to get eaten by sharks i want to know that right so you want to kind of put that in there and everything that people you think they might ask and how do you find all this out you do your research. Here's what everybody's been doing lately, and I've been noticing this, and how you're going to get guaranteed results is you stop using templates all the time and stop using other people's shit all the time and actually do the research so you can do it yourself. And when you're saying what you say to whoever you have to deliver this to, you know that is specially built for them, and you'll get better um, conversion rates after that. After that, you need to come down at the bottom here and give them a risk reversal and let them know that there's a money back guarantee at scarcity. And obviously your call to action. I want to, I want this, give it to me now. So that's how you do it. You put a P I usually put a PS down here, lining out everything and what you're going to get. And then you give them another link right here. A lot of times what I like to do as well, and I didn't do it here, but sometimes above the fold, I'd like to put a buy now right now because people, some people won't even read all of this. The next thing I like to do is put one where if like say one was here, when I scroll, I never want to not see that button. So I'll probably put another one here. And I also, people like to click, this is just a little bonus on the end. People like to click sometimes links like this and they won't click the button. So a lot of times under each button, I will put this uh, text link as well. So that's been it, man. That is your seven step formula on how to write a sales letter and um, using copywriting to your advantage. Now, here's what I want to tell you. Now, there's a lot of more shit that goes around this. Let me be honest with you. There's how to get traffic, how to pick your niche. How to add what words to actually use. There's trigger words and et cetera. There's all kind of things that have to go with adding on this. There's like, instead of saying learn how to do this, you got to put discover because learn is actually a working word, right? So there's a lot of different things to add to copywriting. But what I wanted to do here was to get you started. And I wanted to tell, like, take the myth away about these pretty ass pages people are building. This simple ass, and I call this a white piece of paper, right? A typewritten out sales letter converted at 34% click throughs that go to my cart, and then they converted at 13%. That is a very respectable conversion rate on both ends right there, and it's just a simple piece of paper. If you put too much shit and it's not really uh, formatted like this formula that I gave you, people get lost. And when they get confused, um, they say, when in doubt, go without, right? And I always say, that's my wife says, when in doubt, they go without. And I always say, just period, when you're confused, the answer will always be no, period. And it's the same thing, right? But you just I want you to remember that if people are confused, 
The answer will be no. So you want to make everything really simple. And this is called a squeeze page for a reason because you're sque all the information is squeezing them down here to this click button. That's why it's called a squeeze page and it works. If you notice I did the same thing here, this is all you'll ever need to sell shit. One cool thing about like, I'll give you an example here is I, I want to show you how I broke all this up. And this is another little bonus on the end. If you notice that I broke this up with bold, so you get some eye relief here. And also I did some underlining here. And if you wonder what people actually read this, yes, if they're interested in what you have, they will read all of this. The next thing is you'll notice that I use some uh, italics uh, here. I used bold again here with some bullet points. I kind of changed up. Here's bold here again. And I underlined things to get, you know, to get some type of eye relief. And also I want to I want to make it really easy for people to read this and get them through and draw their attention to different things. Another thing here is I'll show you really quickly is these subheads. It's called dual readership. And I got this from Dan Kennedy. But if you can read these exactly what you're getting today, it's more than just building an email list. Scroll down an advanced list syndication system for rapid list growth, specifically designed for automatic passive income. You'll be creating a predictable and stable income. You see how it reads? Here's what to do next. There's no monkey business. This time of, is of the essence. You're also getting an advanced 90 minute training video. Do you see how this read as the copy itself? It's called dual readership. Just in case people are kind of, it's kind of a subconscious thing, but if they're just kind of like reading the subheads that go along, they'll kind of get the gist. And maybe if they read one of these, it'll make them back back up and read the rest. And that's what that's meant for. So that's kind of like, it took me a minute to understand how that works, but after a while you'll kind of get it and you'll figure out how to do that. But those are just the tips that I have in that process and that formula. You don't have to be a, 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 a copy chief and you don't have to be a copy wizard in order to do this. It's all formulaic. It's all pretty basic stuff here and it'll work every time. So even if you have to just take what I've done and kind of what I did, the first thing I did was, was like kind of with this pen thing, I just kind of set up a page and I had a video here because sometimes people like watching videos. And then I just kind of put like, uh, here I put lead, then I put uh, subhead, and then I put um, offer here, and then I just put a bunch of bullshit text and kind of set the page up like that. And if you just set the page up, and kind of bracket it off first, and then kind of start filling things out as you go along, it'll be easier to do. When you think about it all at one time, it's kind of hard to do. But anyways, if you're interested more in copywriting, man, make sure that you uh, subscribe. And you know, anybody else that is interested, and copywriting, make sure that you send them that share this video and send them my channel so you share it. Maybe somebody else can get something out of this as well. And listen, with this copywriting thing, you're not going to get it all in one day. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I guarantee you that if you do it every day, you will improve and make sure you get the work done. There's no excuses. There's no explanations. Let's get it done.